Hurricane Helene. Hurricane Helene. Hurricane Helene. Hurricane Helene. Hurricane Helene. Hurricane Helene. Helene is now the second deadliest hurricane to hit the United States in the past 20 years. At least 166 fatalities across the southeast. The storm that destroyed my city. Our west coast wiped out by severe flooding. Homes and businesses destroyed. These cars were buried in the sand, showing how powerful the storm was. With wind speeds up to 140 miles an hour at their peak. More than 50 billion dollars so far in insured damages. We're watching video of you saving this woman. I've just never seen this much sand come ashore before. Houses gutted by water, some of them washed away entirely. But they've gotten a lot of these house fires just like this. And the biggest problem, as you can see from the flooding, they cannot get to these fires. They just have to let it they burn. They just got to let it burn to the ground. This is a video that I was never expecting to make, especially not so soon. You see, every time a Floridian is expecting a hurricane, we hope to see some real carnage, a storm more intense than the last. At the end of the day, we're all just looking for some entertainment. And this is especially shown with the whole Florida man stereotype. We want to see some trees fall, be able to stand in the wind at a 30 degree angle, or maybe kayak down your street, but not necessarily in your house. I've lived in Pinellas County, Florida my entire life and experienced my share for Sure. I've lived in Pinellas County, Florida my entire life and experienced my fair share of hurricanes. Hurricane Charlie, Francis, Ivan, and Jean in 2004 when I was less than a year old. Hurricane Irma in 2017, Hurricane Ian in 2022, and most recently Hurricane Helene on September 26th through 27th of 2024. I live in the center of Pinellas County, so luckily for me, I'm not too close to any ocean and therefore did not experience any flooding at my own house. However, the same cannot be said for many of my friends and family friends who throughout the past week have been working really hard to save and rebuild their houses. And I'll talk more about that later. Also, one more thing I want to mention is it was pretty bad for my city, but it could have been a lot worse. And I'm very blessed to not have been hit as hard as some other places such as North Carolina who experienced the worst of this hurricane. However, I will say as I'm recording this intro, we're two days away from Hurricane Milton. As you can see, we have windows board up right now. Uh, Milton's a scary one. So this is the route that Hurricane Helene took and you saw the damage it did here to Pinellas County. Um, this is the route that Hurricane Milton is taking. It's coming straight at us. So wish me luck. I'm assuming my next video after this one is gonna be all about Hurricane Milton. Anyways, Back to talking about Hurricane Helene, because that's what this video is about. All right, let's get started with this video. Oh yeah, and this is Bailey. Her house got flooded during the hurricane, so we're watching her now. In the beginning, I wasn't planning on making a YouTube video about the storm because I wasn't expecting it to be nearly as big as it ended up being. So the beginning of this video is gonna have a lot of vertically filmed clips, but later in the video, I went full vlog mode. So just be patient for now. 3.28 p.m. September 26, 2024. Me and Andrew head into downtown St. Pete as the hurricane begins approaching. Whoa. Bro, all these rocks are washed up on the sidewalk. The sidewalk is gone, bro. Seeing the sidewalk like this is crazy because usually when I walk on the sidewalk, it looks more like this. There was so much styrofoam flying around the city that it looked like it had snowed here. We eventually found the culprit to be this dock that broke loose and floated away. We began walking closer to the ocean and saw the road starting to flood. Hey, that's the main character right there. I'm about to be her, bro. I'm about to stand there. When I saw how much fun these people were having next to the seawall, I got instant FOMO and already knew I was about to get soaked. <laughs> The craziest part about all of this is that we were still hours away from the peak of the storm. At this time, wind speeds were only about 35 miles an hour with gusts of up to 55 miles an hour. And that was enough to send this dumpster barreling towards me and Andrew. Oh. 
later though they would be rising to 50 miles an hour with gusts up to 80 miles an hour where we were. But the wind was the least of our worries here. As we're surrounded by the ocean, our main concern is the storm surge, which was only growing and the tides were only rising. By the time we walked back to my truck, we were drenched. And I wanted to go check out the flooding in Gulfport, but my phone got so wet that it wasn't even working at this point. So we went back home. And turns out we missed a bit of action while we were gone. Huge branches from my neighbor's trees had fallen, one of which fell right into our backyard. And there were worms in our garage. That's not normal. We were incredibly lucky to not lose power at my house though. Me and Andrew went on a bike ride later that night and saw that no one had power around us. There's nobody has power around here. There's no light, not a light in sight. That's actually crazy. The next day we went to a family friend's house which got completely flooded to help them throw out all their furniture and cut out drywall. You can see how high the water got throughout their neighborhood by this water line on their fence, or this water line in their house. All these cars just have their doors open, trunk open, hood open, everything, just letting the cars dry out. Every single car in this parking lot, total. We tried getting onto the beach to see some of the damage from the storm, but they weren't letting anyone over the bridges, and for good reasons. The beaches would be crowded because of all the people wanting to go see the damage, the roads were completely covered in sand, and there's also looters who go out and steal things that got washed away from people's houses. So we tried again two days later. They still weren't allowing people onto the beach, but me and Andrew had a couple tricks up our sleeves. So that's my old school right there. I went there for all of elementary and middle school, but the school is right on the water. So the whole school got trashed. So now all the students that went to that middle school have to go to Osceola, my old high school, and they're doing a split schedule. So school for the high schoolers now starts at 6.20 a.m. And then they get out by like noon and then all the middle schoolers come in and they have to pretty much share the school. All right, so they're turning people around up there, but I think me and Andrew will be able to get by with the bikes. Me and Andrew were not able to get by with the bikes, but it's all good because we packed it up, went to another bridge, and somehow finessed our way through an army of cops. We did it, bro. <laughs> we did it. Dude, we just crossed through like the something. Bro, I was I was looking nervous. There was like seven cops there. They asked us where we're headed. Instead of going to work, some pizza restaurant that I, I didn't even know existed. Man. I go, Pajano's Pizza. The Pajano's. Record all this, man. Costumes. While driving down the beach, it's crazy to think about what this place looked like during the night of the hurricane. Every single building we drive past was under enough water to swim in. Using the water line on this house here, I photoshopped this so you could get a perspective of what it looked like during the storm. Now imagine that, but nighttime. And these houses aren't cheap either. Outside of every building is a mini landfill because everyone's furniture got trashed. Also, I can only imagine what the streets look like before they moved all the sand off of them, considering they've been bulldozing sand off these streets for four days straight. All right, we're going full vlog mode now. Jay's alone. Jay's. <laughs> Maybe one day. He said, he said, sell it to him. That whole home gym. Oh, that house is crazy too. Dude, did you see that? It was an e-bike e that had the battery burnt out of it. Yes. So the hurricane hit Thursday, and today is Sunday, which means they have been cleaning up for four days now. And it still looks like this. Look at their whole driveway. Their whole driveway. Just sand. Is that a burgundy cup? It is. It's sick. Look at that. Whole sort of just chilling. On the tree. People's houses are just gone. Look at that. It's crazy seeing the city like this. Like I've, I've lived here my entire life oh. in a totaled car. And yeah, another total car. Green light. So what do you mean green light? I mean. Green light and spirit. Yeah. I think some of these cars like did get flipped. Just get that one. He's right up against the wall. Whoa, look at the one in the garage. Oh, dude, it went through. Oh my. Oh, look at Candy Kitchen. No! No, not Candy Kitchen. Like they For have to minute. rebuild this entire city. Yeah. All right. We're going on bike now. Now we can get some real in-depth, up close and personal footage of whatever we see going on. Waffle House always open, huh? Then explain this. Uh, so 
Sorry, sir. You can't park your boat there. So I know that this place over here, Krabby's, got really destroyed by this hurricane. Yeah, you can already see some of that damage. Yeah. Dude. Dock has been torn up. What? All the. Oh, yeah? It smells horrible over here. I've filmed videos of this dog before. It does not look the same way it did. Rest in peace to the world's longest waterfront bar. You've been good to us, Krabbies. Been good. People that work here never thought they would have a sand floor in their kitchen. Oh my gosh, bro. For perspective on how bad it smells over here too. Dude, I was just... <laughs> Andrew was just throwing up everywhere. Andrew just puked all over the ground. That was disgusting. <laughs> you can't add smell to a video, bro. But if it makes oh, you throw no, up, you I know would, it's bad. I just end the video right there if you guys smell this one, bro. Oh my. Oh, Andrew's about to throw up again. <laughs> oh yeah, it does smell horrible, bro. All these trash cans, all that wet cardboard. Dude, flood so high, put boats on the wall. No way, what is that? There's a vet, I can't tell what's behind it. Before the hurricane, many smart people stored their cool cars in parking garages to prevent them from getting flooded. Except for these unlucky people who were the last in and had to park on the bottom floor. So me and Andrew were in for an unexpected treat riding through here. I bet you they have a bunch of nice cars stored in here. I wonder what's under here. There's a beetle. Oh yeah. There's a car show in here. There's a Lotus. That's the one. Dude, we recorded that from Alex's car, remember? I filmed this guy once. Get the hell out of here, you guys will beat me. That's a challenger. Um, I don't know how I just completely skipped over this beautiful Bronco right here, but let's continue. Is that a Rolls? Oh my. That's a Rolls right there. There's a nice vet, another vet. Everybody's got Corvettes, bro. Cause, it's because we're in Florida, dude. Every retired Floridian has a vet, as I was saying. Is that a NSX? Two MR2s and an NSX, bro. Three MR2s. Four MR2s. What? MR3. I said it better. And the top vet there. And to finish it off with McLaren. I was not expecting a car show today, but I got one. After checking out all the cars at the car show, we had some work to go do. The same family that owns the house we were at two days ago also owns a motel on the water. Unfortunately, every room in that motel got flooded, and therefore, every bit of furniture in the rooms had to go. Just look at how much stuff we trashed by the end of the first day, and we were nowhere near done yet. Also, the biggest problem whenever buildings flood like this, and one of the main reasons these floods are such a big deal, is the fact that when drywall gets soaked like this, it has to be ripped out immediately, otherwise your house will fill up with black mold, which can be deadly to breathe in. Dang. The boat is still there. Nobody's dock is still standing. I used to be able to just walk right out here. Yeah. All right, guys, I'm about to show you why you don't buy an electric car in a flood zone or in general, because electric cars suck. Dude, that's to the ground. Say I want to go sit in there right now. Yeah, I don't think I can sit in this one. Yeah. Dude. Bro, that's crazy. Dude, you can still smell it. A lot of people left these cars in their houses during the flood and their entire house burnt down because of it. The piles of sand out here are insane. All of this was on the road. This is crazy. Who is driving up there? Where are you going? Um, okay. Okay. Oh, wait, he about to do a flip. Do a flip! No, I don't want to get too sandy. Come on. You ain't got no towels. I don't care. Do a flip. I do. Do a flip. It's going to feel weird. Do a flip. You're such a lame. Do a flip! You come up here and do a flip. Oh. Say less. Look at this guy. Thinks he's some sort of main character. This city needs him. Most 
of everything has been bulldozed already. So the streets have been all cleared up. We've just found a spot where it looks like a lot has not been cleaned up yet. So we're gonna do some exploring. Right over here is one had just crashed into my new Volvo. I don't know what's going on in my right mind. But what the heck? What dude? It damaged his car more than mine. The ocean literally just picked these cars up. Alright, it's the next day. I got my camera this time. We're gonna go assess some more of the damage, help some more people out. But now, look at all these mobile homes behind me. Look at all the stuff people had to trash. Everything here just got soaked. It's like a mini landfill. Update, I drove back past that mini landfill earlier today and it has pretty much tripled in size. Hurricane Milton is gonna hit tomorrow and if this doesn't get cleared up, which I don't think it's going to, the next flood is just going to wash this trash into the ocean. So yeah, that's, that's what Florida is facing right now. Anyways, we drove past a couple more spots that we haven't seen yet, saw some more buildings that were just completely torn apart. I used to eat there, man. And then went back to the motel to help finish helping out our friends, Tim and Teresa. Oh, 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 oh,